guys in this video we'll be talking about AWS Lambda Invoke so you need to know that you can actually invoke your Lambda functions directly with the Lambda console or the Lambda API the AWS SDK the AWS CLI and the AWS toolkits you can also configure other AWS services to invoke your function or you can configure Lambda to read from a stream or queue and invoke your function when you guys invoke a function, you can choose to invoke it either synchronously or asynchronously. With synchronous invocation, you wait for the function to process the event and return a response. While with the asynchronous invocation, Lambda queues the event for processing and returns a response immediately. For asynchronous invocation, it will handle retries and can send invocation records to a destination. To use your function to process data automatically, add one or more triggers to it. A trigger is a Lambda resource or a resource in other, another service that can be configured to invoke your function in response to lifecycle events, external requests, or on a schedule. Your function can actually have multiple triggers, and every trigger will act as an, as an client invoking your function independently. Now to process items from a stream or queue, you can create an event source mappings. Other AWS services and resources invoke your function directly. For example, you can configure CloudWatch events to invoke your function on a timer, or you can configure Amazon S3 to invoke your function when an object is created. Every service varies in the method it uses to invoke your function, the structure of the event, and how you actually configure it. Depending on who invokes your function and how it's invoked, scaling behavior and the types of errors that occur can actually vary. When you invoke a function synchronously, you receive errors in the response and can retry. When you invoke it asynchronously, use an event source mapping or configure another service to invoke your function. The retry requirements and the way that your function scales to handle large numbers of events can vary. So if you'd like to check what your function is invoked with, you go ahead and click on functions. You select the function that you'd like to see. And from configuration, you keep on scaling down until you reach the place which says the invocation method. So let's keep scrolling down. Let's scroll down. Okay, as we can see, this is an asynchronous invocation. With a maximum age of event having six hours, no dead letter queue service, and two retry attempts. And that's it guys for our AWS Lambda Invoke.